Howdy there, folks. This is Apodiri Dave. And right now I'm very excited to share with you folks a quick unboxing of my brand new 8-inch complete Cab King Lapidary machine. This machine conveniently came in three boxes. Not any one of these uh, was too heavy for me to carry by myself, which might not have been the case if this came in one big container or box. Uh, this one is the heaviest one. I believe this is the motor, perhaps this one is the hood and accessories. Uh, this box, I believe, is the diamond wheels. Alright, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this camera on a stand and we will start opening these boxes. Alright. So nice and neat inside there. Looks great. One thing I really like is that Cab King packages their soft wheels and hard wheels with these little stickers. This sticker is really cool. I like to slowly take them off and then stick them all over the place for no particular reason. It's fun to stick stickers in this. The hard wheels come with this bigger sticker. That's really cool. I'll show you guys the hard wheels really quick. It looks so good right now. Two hundred and twenty grit. Anyway, without making a mess, I'll just do uh, I believe this is the middle. In a crate or something. Phillips head screws. Pretty cool. Safety first. Protect that motor. Anyway, now this big one. Alright. Well, uh, it seems to be the hoods, the uh, pans, my I wonder if it's all this little styrofoam cooler looking thing. Lapidary hood. It's cool. We'll take everything out and lay everything out and see what we got. Alright, folks, here's everything that's between those three boxes. That large heavy crate that I'm sure is the motor in the arbor. This was actually underneath the pans, hoods, and lamp stuff. This actually is what the motor sits on. This rubber pad kills vibration to make the machine silent. It has some nice little rubber feet to not tear up whatever table you're using and also to help further kill vibration. That's just awesome. I believe Diamond Pacific also provides one of these. Uh, just a fantastic idea. Just great. Um, amongst the box that had this in it, with the lamps and hoods, was this little accessory package. I guess you could say, well, I guess that's the real accessory package, but this little plastic bag. I come in here, 
some goodies. Uh, yeah. Trying to get this out for you. This magazine is awesome. I got this magazine with a few other machines. I believe one of them is like the Kingly North machine or whatnot. All kinds of good stuff in here. I'll be looking through this magazine another time. Also in here. Some warranty information and some notices. Ooh. A certificate of authenticity. Nice. Some more info. Go on and register your machines, folks. Also in that little pack, extended warranty program. That's important. Envelope, perhaps, to mail away your warranty stuff. And last but not least, what looks like an instruction manual. What is an instruction manual? Good stuff. Take a look at that a little bit later. Let's cut open this accessory pack. Accessory box. All right, knife in hand. All right. Assembly information. Looks like there's some quality control information on the bottom there. That's awesome. An apron. My grandmother cannot get enough of these things. She loves these plastic aprons and. Uh, take them from me. <laughs> That's fun. These are great. Goggles to protect yourself. I will be making a video on how important goggles are in lapidary. That's fantastic that they provide this for you. Some tubing up there. This looks like splash guards. Flash guards. Lucky guess. <laughs> nice big wrench for assembly. Feels uh, actually nice. Not just some like cheap, cheap wrench that you, um, you may never use again kind of wrench, but uh, rather a nice one. Already, it's good to see that they're still using the Cab King pump. I really like this pump. It's very powerful. It provides a lot of water. Diamond paste. Oh yeah. A high-tech flat lap, 360 grit. To um, tighten up the back of your dots after you take them off the stick. Or to remove the saw marks for when... Um, Cleaning up your cabs after you use like a trim saw to get the size you need. That's just super duper lovely. High tech brand lapidary equipment and stuff is actually a um, sister company to Cab King. I love high tech brand flat laps. The main squeeze on my flat lap is a older high-tech flat lap that actually feels like it uses a fiberglass backing. It's extremely aggressive. I love it, love it, love it. So we're just going to make a quick mess really quick to see um, if there's anything I missed. 
This is what you would put your diamond paste on. Feels really good. High quality, nice sponge bath. Nice stone trays. These uh, go on top of your machine. It's really kind that they provide those, the little things that count. Nice. Inner side panels. So that's that for the accessory box. Not to be confused with the accessory packet. Okay, I'm going to put this away. All right, folks, that was the accessory box and the accessory packet. Let's take a look at this lamp. Awesome. Looks really simple. One little uh, package inside of the box. Three screws. Rubber washer, perhaps for vi uh, vibration. Nice. This thing feels and looks very high quality. I assume it is because it has to be waterproof and such. And all that stuff. I'm going to try to open this one handed for you folks. Blah blah blah. Alrighty. Take a look at those LEDs. That's great. Got some warning information on here. Off on switch, the head of the lamp. Hmm, very cool. This is the part that connects to the machine, and you use those three screws and that rubber washer. Snaking action feels good, it's not too stiff, but it, uh, I definitely know it's going to mold and stay there. That's too cool. Moving that aside. Open up these little coolers. Alrighty folks, so I just found these four bolts. I wouldn't be surprised if those are the four bolts connected to the machine, like the same ones that will connect to that uh, waterproof vibration platform. So I'm sure I used the wrench that this came with. I'm going to make that happen right now. Alrighty, now I can definitely feel that she's loose. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Alrighty, take this out. Alrighty, like I said, I'm gonna move this box. We're going to set it up. Alright folks, assembly time. First things first. Take these nuts and washers off. Alrighty. Next thing, we're going to lift the motor, making sure not to lift it by its arbors. But by the base of the machine, the black part of the machine.
Alrighty, folks, that feels great. Now I'm going to put the nuts and washers back on and use this little wrench that it came with to tighten it. All right, everything's nice and tight. Fantastic. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this around and we're going to put the lamp on. Fantastic. Let's do it. All right, folks, now it's time to attach the lamp. I'm going to lay this little washer here. I'm going to thread a screw through the lamp itself. For this third one, I kind of have to bend the lamp back a bit to get it in there with this drill. I might have to do it with a screwdriver. Looking good. Let's flip it around and take a look. Alright folks, flip through around. Check out this light. Absolutely fantastic. Feels good. Nice and malleable. I can even use this light for my other machines. This thing is great. This does come standard on uh, both the 6 inch machine and 8 inch machine I believe. That's just great. Anyway, the next step is to take off these two arbor ends, one which is used for the flat lapping and the other one for the diamond paste. Then to put on the wheels. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Alrighty, I removed the spacers and the two arbor ends. Time for the wheels. Very, very interesting. This wheel here actually sits on a bit of a spacer that is actually at the end of um, this arbor. The spacer is like that wide, and then it sits on the rest of the, um, the side attachment. It's very odd. I kind of assume it's going to sit on this side attachment as well. It's pretty cool. It's a way to, I'm sure, keep the end pad and flat lap flush against those wheels. And it gives you the maximum amount of space. They could have easily cut down the spacer to have these three wheels on there without having to do that. Very unique. I've never ran across that in lapidary before. Maybe they did that with vintage machines or something, but I've never seen it before. Too cool. Anyway, let's do the other side. Alright folks, just like the other side, this wheel is going to sit a little bit on uh, the arbor that's sticking out, but then the rest of the way on this end attachment kind of acts as a spacer. I mean, a, a bushing or a bearing, what is, yeah, a bushing. Sorry about that. Very interesting. Check this out. Put that in there, I guess. Very, very unique. Makes the most out of the spacer. And also makes the end wheels uh, flush. Extremely balanced machine. Just spinning it. Uh, it's the most true machine I've ever owned. Oh boy, I'm excited. Almost done. Alright folks, pan and hood time. First thing first, I'm going to put down the pans that have the drainage facing forward. Alrighty. So the hood actually fits into the pan. It 
fits into the slots at the back here. And then the splash guards fit into the similar slots in the front. Okay, that's the pans. There are really nice rubberish feet on the bottom here to keep the vibration down, I'm sure. Feels really good. I do kind of like that you can move the pan a little bit in case you use bigger or smaller wheels in the future. Last but not least, this is the inner, I guess, I don't know what they're calling it, side panels. <laughs> this is the inner side panel. It's actually uh, really cool because it attaches magnetically. All right. Feels good. Bam. Magnetic. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that again, and then we're going to uh, fashion up the watering system. Alright folks, now for the splash guards um, on top and bottom. Here's the splash guards. I took off this little wooden threaded nut. I'm going to take this out like this. Alright, I could have done that a little bit more gracefully, but mission accomplished. I absolutely love these splash guards here. They are so useful. Keeps everything nice and clean. Keeps me dry. <laughs> so that's that. Now for the bottom splash guards. Okay. Time for the bottom splash guards. I'm real thankful for these. I'm going to go ahead and set up the upper and bottom splash guard for this one right now. Alright. Before I would set up the tubing, I'd probably set up these armrests. These armrests are really awesome, especially if you're using dops. They just let you work a lot harder, a lot longer, and a lot faster. But I'm not really 100% interested in these, or at least using them right now. I'm sure my apprentices will get a lot more use out of these than I will. But yeah, thought I should show you those. Time for the watering system. Okay folks, time for me to rig up the water pump. I'm going to run the water pump's watering hose underneath the slightly elevated platform and attach this little T-tip to the watering hose. There's a hose sticking out of each. This just runs in and uh, is fashioned with two spitters each. Great. Real easy, real simple, real easy to fashion up. Alright. Alright folks, that's that. Now I'm going to attach the two hoods. There is a little adhesive strip on the back of this little T-tip and I would use that to fashion it to the back behind the motor. Keep it from moving around. Keeps everything nice and neat. I'll do that. Maybe off camera, it's not that big of a deal. And then this would go into my water bucket. Awesome. Let's do that. I'll get some water and we'll try this out. 
Alright folks, now that I have this watering pump fashioned through and connected to the hoods, I'm going to go ahead and um, connect these drainages. I've never connected these kind of drainages before with this little pinch metal ring that holds it on there. For now I'm just going to put it on there just a bit, stick the hose in the bucket, I'll probably fashion it on there just a little bit better later. I do like the uh, finger spring pressure ring the way that they uh, lock the tube to the drainage. Just feels good. Doesn't feel cheap. Alright. So, before I plug this bad girl in, I'm going to place her in the bucket. It has some suction cups, so she's firmly at, um, firmly stuck to the bottom of that bucket. So, this machine actually included something I forgot to show earlier, which I'll show right now. And that is this cool switch. I actually thought it was an on and off switch for the motor. That would have been cool. But it actually is an on and off switch for the water pump. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. And then, I don't know if you can hear it, on, off, on, off. Alrighty. Hopefully my hoods are aligned so they don't scrape when I um, turn on this machine. It was scraping a little bit, that's fine. Awesome. Now let's test some of these watering system thingies, these knobs. Great. Awesome. I forgot to put on the upper splash hood. On this side, that's fine. I'll do that here in a little bit. Alright folks, I put these little trays on top of the machine. These are absolutely awesome. Whatever kind of material the rubber is made out of, keeps these from slipping and sliding, even uh, with nothing in them. Right now, I'm going to attach the flat lap on the side here. There's a nice little slit here so you can easily take it off in case it gets a little stuck. Also, if you didn't know, Cab King comes with uh, a little hose for the side panels, both the flat lap and the polishing pad, to keep them lubricated, as they should be. Anyway, I'll give this a shot one-handed. Alright, I'm going to turn it on after I put this polishing pad on just to make sure everything's on there true. Up next, the threaded polishing pad. This is actually 6 inch, which is totally perfectly fine. I was really surprised that they provided a 8 inch flat lap. I would think that they would just include a uh, 6 inch. 
since it would work just as fine. It's just um, little things that like that, you know, that went above and beyond. I really, really appreciate. All right, this side also has the watering system. I totally just leave these on there. Now I'm going to check it to make sure it's true. Oh yeah. Not wobbling or anything. Feels great. Fantastic. That was very, very easy. I was expecting it to be a lot more complicated setting up this machine. In fact, I did not intend on showing you folks as much as I did of me setting up this machine. This unboxing took place in kind of a small cramped area. I'm sorry if you didn't get to see any boxes, any larger or anything, but I'll get better at them. I will be doing more unboxings of my Cab King machines when I get them. I plan on getting another 8-inch machine as well as a 6-inch machine. It was kind of fun to stumble through everything with you folks. Sometimes I literally learned what I was supposed to do by looking over at the instruction manual while I was talking to you guys. It was really fun. Kind of moved the buckets under there for now. One of the reasons why I really, really wanted one of these machines is because of these hoses. How clean this watering system is. It's going to look really good taking this to gem shows to work and such. Anyway, I love you folks. Uh, I'm too eager to use this thing. i gotta got to make that next video of me cutting something on this bad girl. Anyway, see you soon. I hope you enjoyed. Love you. Talk to you next time.